sorry that was loud. All right, so let's check out our layers. We've got a lot of craziness. We've got eye layers, we've got a mouth layer, we've got ears, we've got a nose, and we've got a face. More importantly, we've got this gradient dividing us from these extra layers down here that we're just kind of storing away for later. We need to take all of this craziness that we've been working on for our face and we need to smush it into one layer that we can then do some extra stuff to. But before we do that, we need to save all this extra stuff that we've been working on so if something goes wrong, then of course we have something to go back to. So I have a trick. And that trick is A, going to make this fast for grabbing all these things. And B, it's going to help protect these two eye color layers that you've made because they've got that clipping mask, and if you remember, if we move them, they will break. And everything will be stained whatever color that you just chose. So here is the trick. Click on whatever layer you have at the top. It doesn't matter if it's your eyes, your nose, your mouth, it doesn't matter. Click on whatever that top layer is. Then you're going to hold down your Shift key, and you're going to come down here to your face. Your face layer should be the last thing before our gradient. When I hold shift and I click face, it should highlight everything that we've been working on these past few videos. Everything except our gradient, our neck, and our original photo. If something didn't get grabbed or it grabbed something it shouldn't have, then just go back and recheck your layer order. This should be just all of our individual body parts ending with our face then the gradient, our neck, and our original. So again, I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to click on whatever my top layer is. It does not matter what it is. But the last thing you should click on while holding shift is your face. So with all of that highlighted, you're going to do a command G. Command G. Command G for command group. And it's going to throw all this stuff into a folder for you which is what we want. Call this folder face. That is what it is. It's your face. It has all of our different body parts in it. Now, take that face and let's drag it down underneath our gradient because we need to keep this little folder as a backup because what we're getting ready to do is potentially going to ruin everything we just did, but not in a bad way, but we're going to ruin all of these fancy little layers that we got. So once that's down there, we can also duplicate folders with Command J. So Command J, your folder, it's going to make a copy of it. Take that face copy and bring it to the top. So now we've got like this little folder sandwich. We've got our face copy, we've got our gradient, and we've got the original down here. This original is down here for safekeeping with everything else. This copy, though, is what we're going to mess with. So if you right click on the text for this folder, that's our face copy, and you go down here to like this rainbow of colors, right above it is this thing called merge group. If you do that, it will take that folder and all of the layers and masks and color adjustments that are in it, and it's going to smush it all into one layer. And you can totally tell because look, now you have a little thumbnail instead of a folder icon. But because we did that, it would cause us to lose all of this stuff in here. It'd be gone forever. So that's why we have this little folder down here, just in case something's wrong, then you could bring it back here and you can fix some things and then go through this video again to make that copy. So this face here is what we are going to use to kind of create a different shape skull, if you will. So we're going to use our liquify tool. We haven't used that in a while, right? So I'm going to come over here to filter and liquify. <coughs> Excuse me. Now your liquify is going to look different than mine because I'm, of course, still in an older version than you guys. Hooray for me. Before we get to going crazy and making things look awkward, hopefully not like that. Please don't do that. We need to protect all these facial features that we work so hard on. So we're going to use some new tools that are over here in our liquefied tools bar. 
So if you look around, you should see this freeze mask tool. Now it looks like the shortcut for it is F. So try clicking on F and see if that's what it highlights. Your freeze mask tool uses your brackets to make that circle bigger and smaller. And we need to paint red over our eyes and our eyebrows. So we don't want them to get warped and moved around. We're also going to do it to our nose and our mouth. So we're going to kind of look like a girl that doesn't know how to do makeup. What this is going to do is it's going to protect this area of our face. So then we come back up here and use our warp tool. It won't twist and turn and shrink and pinch our eyes and our mouth and all the stuff that we've worked on making look different already. Now, when you're using the liquify tool, adjust your circle. I kind of prefer one that's a decent size. A little teeny tiny one is going to make him look all ripply and not natural. So when I come in here, look, I'm just doing nice smooth pulls or pushes. I'm not going crazy. I'm just being nice and gentle with it. I'm just kind of shoving that cheek inwards. Because I feel like he already has a pointier jawline, so I'm just making that even more aggressive. If you were doing, you know, a teacher that potentially has like a really boxy jawline, you could come in and make that even more square. So you're just going to have to kind of look at what that general face structure is that you have and kind of play with what you got. I'm going to come up here now to my skull, and I'm just going to kind of expand out this area where the brain would be. So this particular guy here is almost going to have kind of like an alien shaped head. Now less is more, so don't feel like you got to go super crazy with it or your character is not going to look still semi-realistic. It's just going to look like you did a really bad job in Photoshop and you were really sloppy. Whoop, sorry, that was probably really loud again. Now one thing I am going to mess with on this guy is I did just kind of have some weird connections right here. So I could kind of like pull down maybe some of this hair. I don't want to warp my ear though. So that may or may not work for maybe some issues that you have. But we are going to mess with our hair here a little bit later. And that could fix some of these connection issues that you might have between your layers. When you're happy, you can hit OK. And you should see your face change. All right, save this so you don't lose what you just did to your face. And we're going to come back and we are going to mess with our neck in the next video.